Hi there, this is Hoverspool. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be talking about how to install mods for OpenMWVR. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I definitely suggest watching my previous videos on the subject. Um, there's a lot of people doing a lot of different stuff with this project, so I would just suggest, you know, sticking with what works. Um, it works for me, and that's why I'm talking about it. Anyway, I, I was researching... Um, the number one question that I got on my previous videos was about whether or not uh, Open Morrowind VR was compatible with the Morrowind multiplayer uh, mod that's out there. And I'm doing research into it. I'm trying to see if there's a way to do it. I attempted something. It really didn't work out. Um, I'm going to keep looking in and see if anyone has ended, had any other sort of success. But as of my understanding right now, it is not... Uh, compatible that might change hopefully it will change I'm not a dev on either of these projects I am just trying to help as many people get open Morrowind VR running as possible um, anyway I saw this post by Reno Racer about that and uh, one of the responses uh, in the in the comment section there it wasn't super helpful but um, there was one person bringing up the fact that the combat in Morrowind is sometimes tricky and somebody uh, brought forth this one mod over here called better balanced combat uh, for Morrowind. It's by Silent Night XXX. Um, it's one of the most popular mods out there. It kind of just rebalances a lot of the uh, weapon hits, the two hit chance. Basically, if you if you're not super familiar with uh, RPGs or tabletop RPGs, you know. Morrowind famously kind of has a little bit of a wonky uh, dice rolls when it comes to hitting. So even, you know, later games in the Elder Scrolls series were kind of famous for, you know, flighty, flighty swords and not actually being able to hit anything. Um, but uh, Morrowind definitely kind of started a lot of that trend for people. Um, so and, and you'll notice it if you're playing. If you're not very proficient at most of your weapons, you won't be able to do anything with them. Um, but this mod seems to reconcile that and kind of bring combat a little bit more balanced so you know if you are swinging a knife at someone it probably will do some damage anyway it it, it kind of helps out with uh the vr mod anyway um i'm not going to explain fully how to download and install mods you know there's plenty of tutorials out there for it in fact there for this specific mod there is a tutorial right here but i am going to just go through the gist of how i mod uh morrowind vr is a little bit of an in-depth video so apologies if it's not super quick anyway you're going to want to get you know whatever mod you're working with for example we're doing the better balance combat you're going to want to do a manual download because again the open morrowind vr is such a new kind of concept new uh, uh, uh fork of open morrowind not every single installation uh mod installation is going to work out of the box right now in fact open morrowind vr seems to have quite a few community patches and community fixes that are already implemented by other very popular mods so that might create some redundancies so keep that in mind um what i am just putting forth here is a way that i personally try and test these mods i've tested two mods including better balanced combat and uh they've worked out fine so far but they're they're not you know the most graphically intensive i am not going about this modding process by dumping a whole ton of mods on it and then seeing if it works in my uh experience if you mod any bethesda game by like dropping a whole bunch of mods on them at once it usually doesn't work super well. The best way is to slowly like add one mod, make sure it works, get ready to back it up if it doesn't work, and you know keep going from there. So download Better Balanced Combat. It's gonna pop down here as a zip file. Uh, you know, unzip the file, get the files that you need. For our sake, it was uh, in the main complete. Get Better Balanced Combat. And then what you're going to want to do is go to wherever you have your copies of uh, Morrowind. And what I do is I've just made a whole bunch of copies of it, and I'm going to demonstrate it right here. I made a bunch of backup copies of more, my Morrowind game. Um, anyway, these are just so I can slowly test out the different versions of it and always have something to fall back on that I know works in case I've bungled the install. Because I have bungled these installs before. It's not a whole lot of fun. 
Um, anyway, what I would do is I, I copy the backup of it and I sort of come in here and this is where I start modding things. So I'll mod on each of one of these individual uh, 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 copies of Morrowind. So for example here, this is a fresh install, it's a fresh backup copy, and I'm just going to go ahead and drop better balanced combat in there. You might see MCA is already installed. Um, that's just something that I did. Um, but now that we have better better uh, better balanced combat, excuse me, uh, put into this, put into our Morrowind backup copy, what we're going to want to do is actually go back over to that artifacts file folder that we made that one time, the very, very important one that I mentioned in the first tutorial. And instead of going to OpenMWVR, we're going to go to OpenMW Launcher. This is just what I do to make sure that my mods work. If you want to go ahead and install a few mods that we know work and just start playing around in that, that's fine. But uh, what I demonstrated earlier, this is just the easiest way to make sure that you don't corrupt your entire game and have to delete it and reinstall it. Anyway, now you'll see here we have all of these uh, uh, ESMs loaded, including Better Balanced Combat. If you just installed the mod, it won't be checked right here. You can go ahead and check it. Um, but otherwise, what I do is sometimes I just run the installation wizard again, and I choose an in existing installation. And now you might see I have a whole bunch of different versions of it. I have Morrowind for my Bethesda launcher, and then where I've backed it up on the rest of my computer. This is a standard version of Morrowind. This one is Morrowind Comes Alive modded. And then I already have set up the Morrowind Better Balanced Combat and MCA data files. So this helps me remember which modded version of Morrowind I'm playing with. Anyway, I'm going to select that one, hit English, hit Import. This is just me being very, very particular to make sure it works. Anyway, back over here, I make sure that Better Balance Combat is selected. Everything else looks good. Don't hit play. Just, you know, if you do, what typically is going to happen if you hit play is it's just going to error starting executable, and you're going to want to quit out of that or find a way to hard quit out of that. Um, but otherwise, it's good to go. You can just open, launch OpenMW VR from inside of your VR application or inside of your VR headset. Um, that's another question that I got a lot. A lot of people were opening and clicking it on the desktop. If you click it on the desktop like this, you might experience some weird graphical issues. Like right now, we're seeing it at the resolution that my VR headset displays but um, we're not actually seeing the game. That's because you have to be inside of your virtual, you have to be wearing your VR headset and be inside of a, your VR headset's uh, client for looking at uh, your desktop. So a client like Virtual Desktop, Oculus Home has like a desktop feature that you can look on. There's a couple of different solutions online. Um, I literally Googled Virtual Desktop and then the name of a uh, the HTC Vive and I was able to find a solution for somebody so again common sense here thank you <laughs> um, uh, but you know getting back to the point I'm going to show off some footage of uh, you know what I've experienced with it so far and uh, I'm also going to keep uploading some footage later on this week of uh, more uh, gameplay footage Watching gameplay here, my chances of hitting this uh, Argonian have actually definitely increased from vanilla. Um, this character is a mage and doesn't have any proficiency in long blades, but the fact that I'm actually making some hits on uh, this uh, this Argonian is a better sign than earlier, where I didn't even know if I was hitting anything correctly. Um, I do eventually give up uh, during this fight and use my uh, magic to kill him, but just speaking from the way I've observed the way this mod works and I've observed the way this game works, my chances of hitting are much more realistic than they were before. All right, let's just chill out, head on out. I added more NPCs to the world, so we will be seeing more people walking around town. What do you want? 
Morrowind comes alive as a mod. Yeah, there's a few more people walking about. Quite a few more guards. Alright, let's head on back over to that Silt Strider. Gonna check my settings real fast. Looks pretty good. At least from here. My audio looks like it's being picked up as well. Very good. I just want to say thank you again for watching. Uh, try and like and subscribe if you want to. Have a great rest of your day.